welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my 31 days of Halloween uh, extravaganza series, <laughs> pick a card series, lol. All right, so this video reading is a no contact reading or a low contact reading, uh, meaning you don't have very consistent contact with this person, but are they watching you? Are they watching you over social media? Are they watching you through friends? Are they watching you from afar? through their own eyes, what means are they watching you? So are they watching you? If so, how are they watching you? And why are they watching you? You have four decks to choose from. As you can see, my hands are a bit discolored. I have frostbite from standing outside for so long, waiting for contact. <laughs> LMAO, y'all, I do not write these down before I do this. All right, so you have four piles or decks to choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, deck number four. Again, deck one, are they thinking about you? Deck two, are they dreaming about you? Deck three, are they spying on you through the spirits? Or deck four, is it just a matter of time? Have they been watching you all along, waiting to pounce? All right, pause this video and see which of these decks you feel you resonate with the most and come back when you are ready. Remember, these are general messages. They will not resonate with everyone. All right, so let's jump in with pile or deck number one. Deck number one, has your person been watching you from afar? If so, how? Thank you. And these were the general messages. General messages. Give me one more card. We have the Knight of Cups that came out at the bottom of the deck. This could have been a situationship or a very short-term relationship, the person that you are asking about. We got the Will of Fortune that came out in the reverse. Ooh, we have the Six of Wands that came out in the reverse. We have the King of Wands that came out in the upright. We have the Nine of Cups. So the energy that I'm getting, is this person watching you from afar? Yes, they are. And it's in regards to sexual desire. Deck number one, in regards to your person watching you. I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, this feels karmic, or it feels like there's unfinished business with this connection, and it feels like they're watching you via social media. So let's get more insight. Why and where is this person watching those who chose deck number one? Why and where? Deck number one. Why and where deck number one? We have the King of Swords. So let's see. Queen of Pentacles came out in the reverse. Queen of Wands came out in the upright, and then we have the Ten of Cups. So definitely in regards to the why. Yeah, this person is remembering the good times, remembering the fun times between the two of you. And with this Queen of Pentacles, yeah, they're reminiscing on the good times in regards to your situation. King of Wands, they want you back for sure, but it feels like is via social media where they're watching you, even with this King of Swords, via social media for sure. So let's see, let's get some other messages from this person in regards to the two of you. Further Let's the insert deck number one. Surrender stress. Bottom of the deck. Worth the waiting for. Conclusions are within reach. I feel like this person may be watching you also to kind of see if it's safe to approach you. But we have a personal issue reaches resolution. And yeah, this person is also watching you. They want to reach out to you, express your love. If they want to reach out to you. Surrender unhealthy relationships. So I feel like for some of you, this could have been a short-term unhealthy off and on situation or something that was short-term, but the, the residual feelings are still there. 
in regards to why this person is watching you from afar via social media it's because they want you back they definitely want to speak to you and i feel like this may be someone who might reach out to you sometime soon so be out on the lookout for that and by sometime soon i mean within the next three weeks within a month's time less than a month that's what that feels like all right deck number one let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below give this video a like like comment share subscribe and check the pinned comment if you would like a private reading join me on patreon or any other services all right let's move on to deck number two deck number two let's find out no contact from this person or low contact have they been watching you from afar if so where have they been watching you and why the moon card that came out in the reverse you could be asking about a pisces but the energy that i get from this deck number two your person watches you at night a lot so they could be dreaming about you okay i also feel like for some of you who chose deck number two you might be kind of inquiring about a forbidding connection, so to speak. This person could be with another person. This could be a third-party situation, or you could be with another person. But yeah, I feel like they watch you a lot at night. I feel like when the two of you were in communication, a lot of it took place in the nighttime. So let's see. We have the Knight of Pentacles that came out in the reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles that came out in the upright. Ooh, more King of Wands energy. So definitely sexual energy, but I feel like this is a third party situation or was a third party situation. This person definitely sees you in their dreams. And it's crazy that that is the little symbol that I chose or the little totem or object. I feel like this person, they're holding back from you but it's not because they don't want to. It's because it's the best thing right now. But the energy between you and this person doesn't feel finite. It feels like this person is waiting for the right time to approach you again. There's communication that's going to happen between the two of you in the future. Some ways off, though. That's what I feel with this Seven of Pentacles. There will be communication between the two of you again, but it's a ways off. We have the two of pentacles that came out in the reverse and we have the ooh two of swords so this person could have chosen someone else over you maybe another love interest maybe this person had a third party situation where it was between you and one other person they're still with this person where they're still dealing with situations involving this person maybe they went off and chose this person this person was pregnant or maybe you were the pregnant person and they left you for this person. But there's still there's still situations tied into this person, whether it's a relationship, whether it's they live with this person. There's situations still tied into this situation with the other person. But they definitely feel like they made the wrong decision. I feel like this is someone who may have terminated the connection between the two of you. And you're wondering, are they thinking about you? Yeah. In this situation, hindsight is 2020. They they definitely dream about you a lot. Look at that coincidence um, or synchronicity, rather. It's like they're trying to figure out. They think about, yeah, a lot about you in regards to sexual situations come up to you. And I do feel like this person is going to come towards you with some sort of contact in the future, but it's well off in the future like into the next year, depending on when you're watching this, but definitely into the next year. This person would like to offer a relationship, but they can't, they can't right now. There's someone or something else in between as a blocker. Let's see what else came out. We have soulmate. 
look at more of why they're watching you worth the waiting for. For some of you, there could be an age restriction in regards to why the two of you can't be together. We have frustration that came out at the bottom of the deck. And it's time to release negative energy. So this person wants to let go of whomever it is that they're with, or they wish they can shake themselves of the uh, situation. Uh, definitely their soulmate energy, their strong spiritual energy between the two of you. Love ties. Surrender denial. This person may be working with some sort of pride. Maybe this person is a Leo. They, it's like for a minute, for a while, rather, this person was trying to deny their feelings for you or try not to even admit to themselves that they made the wrong decision in regards to love. And then we have a personal, a personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever this is that's tied into this other person or this other thing for why they can't come back towards you or and why they're not reaching out to you, whatever this is, it's going to resolve itself for them over the next three to four months. And contact, honestly, in regards to a time frame, contact is feeling like a year's time, within a year, maybe eight months, when you will hear from this person again. But at that point, who knows mentally, spiritually, emotionally, where you'll be at with this person in particular. But yeah, they think about you a lot, especially at night, especially dreaming, very secretive in nature about it. I just heard this person has a picture of yours saved in their phone or somewhere where the someone can't find it. Could be their significant other or the person that they're dealing with. But yeah. So yeah, they are watching you. Or at least they're dreaming about you. Because honestly, in regards to social media, this person, it feels like, I don't know, one of, one of you or maybe the both of you aren't as active on social media. So this person may pop up every now and again, but more so this person is thinking about you in dreams. Or what else is coming through if this person can see you through, like if they have your number saved and if they can see your icon change in the phone. But they don't have they don't have any true ways of watching you. They look at your picture a lot and they dream about you a lot. That's what I'm getting. All right, deck number two, let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below. If you'd like a book, a private reading, coaching, or consultation, or join me on Patreon, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And let's move into deck number three. All right, deck number three. So your person, no contact or low contact, are they watching you? How and why? Five on materials at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm getting some yes energy thus far. That five on materials, let's see. Express your love. Surrender unhealthy relationships. What do you need to release? Hmm, interesting. Deck number three, your person can be involved with someone else too. Let's see, are they watching you from social media? So we have the four of voices that came out in the reverse. That's the four of swords that came out in the reverse. We have the devil card. Ooh, this person is addicted to you. The devil that came out in the upright. Deck number four. Three, I was about to say deck number four. You let go of this person. It's a toxic situation. We have the hermit card that came out in the upright. This person can be an earth sign. We got Capricorn. We got uh, Virgo. This person can also be a Taurus or there's a lot of Taurin, Taurus energy in this person's chart. And then we have Muse of Emotion. So the King of Cups. This person thinks about you a lot, but they're not watching you via social media. They're not watching you. I feel like this person has access to you. Maybe you work with this person. Maybe you have worked with this person. Maybe you share mutual friends. 
maybe you live in the same neighborhood or you frequent the same places. I feel like this person has access to you. They think about you a lot, but they can't actually see you. That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the Muse of Voices, so the King of Swords. And then we have the Muse of Inspiration, so the King of Wands. So definitely there's sexual energy here. I'm hearing this person respects you. Even if this person was disrespectful in nature, this person thinks about you a whole lot. I feel like if they do have access to you via social media, they're still not watching you like crazy via social media. This is more someone who, yeah, their thoughts. And this is somebody who thinks about you randomly, like within a day, during the day, at random times when they're not trying to think about you. Yeah, you're on this person's mind a lot. Let's see, we have flirt. Surrender to creativity. Confidence is your key to success. So yeah, definitely. I feel like for some of you, this can be off and on. For some of you, I feel like this person is thinking of creative ways. This person may, I feel like this person has a child that's coming through. Or this person could stay with, with, with their current partner if they're not married and there's a child there. I feel like this person's trying to find creative ways to, to maybe engage with you. It may be through work. It may be through mutual connections. It may be through popping up in your side of the city. Confidence is your key to success. This person could be a Leo. I'm not really feeling like this person's going to reach out to you anytime in like the very soon, I guess, one, two, three three weeks from now or anything or even a month this person would like to talk to you i can tell you but they're not going to reach out at least not in this energy yeah something about this person can't if they do if they do have access to you via social media either you're blocked or they're blocked no they didn't block you or maybe they did it's like this is somebody who also wants to get over you as well so they watch you, but they also want to get over you or in the times that they have watched you or they don't watch you over social media if you have social media because they're trying to get over you, but they can't stop thinking about you constantly. That's what I'm getting with that one. So are they watching you traditionally? No, no, this person's not watching you, watching you. Either they don't have the means to or they're forcing themselves not to watch you. However, though, this person thinks about you all times of the day. And I feel like this person is involved with someone else. And maybe that's why they're trying to get over you. But there's a lot of emotion. So there's this person respects you a lot. There's a lot of emotions, a lot of love, a lot of sexual energy, a lot of addictiveness. Or this person could be dealing with their own addictions. But it's like they're addicted to you. But something's very toxic about this union even void of being involved with someone else. Something very toxic about this. But yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. Deck number three. Let me know in the comment section below how this resonated, if it resonated for you. And if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session, or join me on Patreon, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below and help me out with the algorithm. Give this video a like, and I'll be seeing you all on the next one. All right, let's get into it. Deck number four, no contact. Is your person watching you? If so, how are they watching you? Via what means and why are they watching you? Universe, which was deck four, person watching you. We had the death card that came out in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or definitely somebody who, or either they ended it or you ended it, but it's ended. They may be interested in reconciliation. The 
answers you need are coming. Surrender to success. Let go of control issues. All right, so deck number four. I feel like, yeah, definitely there's somebody. I feel like there's a watching energy, but definitely I feel like this person wants to come back and speak to you. They want to have a conversation for sure, but let's see. We got the page of pentacles that came out in the reverse. You can be dealing with someone who's younger than you, a Virgo who's younger than you. We have the Ten of Cups. You could have children with this person or you were already in a marriage of some sort, some sort of long-term commitment with this person. They want to revamp the relationship. We have the Ace of Swords that came out in the upright. So yes, this is a yes. This person is watching you from afar. We got the Six of Swords. This person could have moved away from you. I feel like this person, either the two of you have a family together or you've talked about having a family. It was like a wishful thinking. You could have also met this person maybe younger in life or when you were a bit younger with this page of Pentacles. This person thinks about you a lot. This person does watch you from afar. I feel like there's mutual con contacts between the two of you, maybe a, a mutual friend. They talk about you or they talk about you a lot, two friends. This person definitely looks you up from time to time like on different types of platform, like even the ones that you don't expect people to watch you on, like a Pinterest. Look at that, 10 of Wands and the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, so we have Aries energy here. This could be someone that maybe was a bit controlling in the connection at first. It was their way or no way at all. This is somebody who's tried to move on from you. I feel like this person may have let you go because they felt like, eh, this is the person for me. But you constantly come back up for this person even after i feel like for some of you this person may have moved on to other people had other relationships not just one two three maybe maybe more but they keep coming back to you and thought what they wanted in a partner they found in you and essentially they haven't found in anybody else so yeah this person does watch you they talk about you a lot to friends or they're watching you through a friend like somebody's keeping tabs and they watch you via social media. And if you don't really have social media, no, they're finding ways. Even if you've blocked this person, there's a fake profile out there. So let's see what else we have. Look at the bigger picture. Look at that. Answers you need are coming within reach. This person is planning a return towards you or communication, reaching out towards you. Show the world the real you. They're going to be honest and open. You could be an Aquarius. You have Sagittarian energy. Contact from this person. I'm getting up to two months from now. Or within two months. Maybe sometime around the full moon. We have Surrender Fear. This person has... I feel like too because this person has been wanting to talk to you. Or wanted to resurrect the relationship. They've been holding back from you. Because I feel like... This was the person who shut the door. And it's kind of it's kind of like them being afraid to come back because they know they're the reason why you two aren't talking. So it's like, ooh, look, surrender denial. This person had to come out of denial of how they felt about you. Ooh, surrender frustration. This person's frustrated. But this person put them in this situation. You two aren't talking because of this person. They chose this, not you. And then retreat. This is somebody who I feel like if they're at a physical distance, they're going to come visit you. They're going to come towards you. They want to retreat with you. This is somebody who wants to resurrect. They can be an ex. They can be an ex situation, but they want to resurrect. So, yes, they are watching you from afar by any means necessary. And for some of you that know this person personally, they're watching you through your friend or family or definitely talking about you a lot to their friends or family. That's what I'm getting with that. So they're waiting on the right time to come towards you. Boom. 
All right, deck number four, let me know how you all felt about these spooky readings uh, in the comment section below. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me or join me on my Patreon, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And maybe I can revive these hands from being frostbitten for grabbing towards my love in the night. Honestly, it looked like I was like potting plants and I got dirt on my fingers. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, everyone, whenever you watch this, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy early Halloween. I'll have more dropping before Halloween, so stay tuned. All right. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.